When I was 52, well actually about a year prior, my husband and my oldest daughter started noticing things were off. So for, it would take me about five minutes to get through a patient's records for years. All of a sudden it was taking 15, 20 minutes, half hour. I was forgetting things. People's names, people that I should know, one young lady who it was actually, I found out a few months ago, it was my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter's name, Jocelyn. I didn't know the girl's name. And for somebody that had, you know, a 4.0 in college, owned a couple of businesses, <laughs> to all of a sudden be completely forgetting everything, it's very scary. What would take me an hour to do was starting to take me two hours. I went into the office to train people, and people that I trained for many years that would take, you know, nothing to do a test. All of a sudden I forgot things on the test that I drew up. Actually thinking I'm opening up people's eyes. They're finally waking up and realizing that, oh, somebody with Alzheimer's or dementia is not that little old lady sitting on the porch drooling on herself, that they're, they're you know, in their 50s, I've met people 46 years of age that have Alzheimer's and dementia, and we, we have a voice and we need to be heard.